I was not there when my house fell to ruin. Defectors join the coward Kel Mizrax in his worthless house of light and fled to the last city. They devoted themselves to their oppressors, the Guardians and their great machine. There is no greater shame. I tried to claim stasis for my people. But I was judged, bound, abandoned by the same power I sought to command. Some chains cannot be broken. Or so they would have you believe. Thanks for helping your old pal Drifter with this delicate situation, hero. I had a delivery headed toward the last city when these house salvation goons hijacked it. Now I just need you to get in there and expedite my shipment. I'll let you know what we're looking for once you're inside. I don't blame House Salvation for skimming a little cream off the trade routes. Couldn't have been easy after the head honcho got turned into a popsicle. But I didn't think they'd have the guts to try something like this. Once we get my cargo back, you'll see what I mean. Getting warmer. Our misappropriated shipment is just ahead. Spirit, boss. I finessed the Guardian into doing the actual rescuing. You let the Guardian see me like this? Well, that works once I'm out of here. About that. First, let's discuss the matter of our hazard pay. What? We got a deal. I will not be leveraged by an amateur extortionist. Sure thing, boss. We'll just ship you back to the Tangled Shore. Queen Mara's got a handsome bounty on your ugly mug. Could be quite the payday. Tell you what. How salvation commandeered my old catch. If you can find your way there, it's yours. My associates will join you along the way. Give them a lift, and we'll call it even. <laughs> Hear that, hero? We got ourselves a new ride. Just gotta break it out of impound. There's something you should know. I overheard some drags talking. While you were hiding in your kennel? <laughs> House Salvation is rallying. Someone's kicked the hornet's nest. They're looking for something left over from the dark. Sounds ominous, but I'm sure the Guardian can handle it. That's Hall 6, one of my trusted associates. He's deadly with a wire rifle. Useful if you're pinned down. Sounds like you found my remaining crew. Help them clear out this rabble. the rest of my associates. They're no good to be dead. Make sure to bring them back alive. You weren't lying about these house salvation jokers. They're all riled up. What do you say they're looking for? Relics. Antiquities of some kind. Mm, that's awfully esoteric for a bunch of rubes like these. They gotta be taking orders from someone. The hell's calling the shots around here. That must be the big boss in charge. Take him out, hero. Oh, hell. The witness must have broken Aramis out. No wonder how Salvation's scrambling. So, the ship stealer is back in play. The artifact she's after. 
Astra. Price of her freedom, I bet. Oh, mercy. The resale value. Luckily, we got a clean ship and a dirty crew to chase her with. Do me a favor, Guardian. Don't let this clown pilot my catch. Come on now, Spider. I'll treat her like she was my own. That's what I'm worried about. Only thing you better worry about is the welcome you'll get back in the last city. Let's ride, Guardian. Careful with that cargo, or I'll dock you myself! Then it's true. Aramis has broken free. Her name still carries weight. The old crews now really under her command. The old crews? I've read about them. The catch killers and skiff blades. The... What is the human word? Pirates. Aramis thawing out is bad news, sure, and she's looking for something. But luck's on our side for a change. This little trinket is exactly what we need. What's that? That's access, little sister. You hold this key, and any door they close, you can open. If you can find it. We must not take the old crews lightly. The full vanguard should be rallied to deal with these outlaws. Yeah, that's a tough sell. Zavala's preparing for Kallus' next move. Ikora's got her hidden looking for Aramis, but they stick to the shadows. That leaves us. Father, we should do whatever we can to help. And there's so much exhilarating knowledge to be gained from these pirates. They may hold antiquities from the time of the whirlwind. This is more serious than you realize. You ain't wrong. We all know how dangerous Aramis can be. It's your call, hero. Well, anchors away. Ready when you are, Captain. formally met. I am Ido, scribe of House Light, daughter of Mizrak Skell, whom you already know. Yes. Mizrax and I are well acquainted. I have heard the stories. Have you now? Do you hold a title, sir? I've heard what they call you. Oh, uh, I hold a great many things. Spider is better than Fallen, and no worse than your old man letting the Guardians call him Mithrax. <laughs> yes, some of them struggle to pronounce his name. Yes, it's surprising what they struggle with. Uh, Present company excluded, of course. Oh, yes, this Guardian is quite competent. I still hope I will be able to assist somehow. Very plucky of you, I don't. How does your father feel about your involvement? It seems these old pirate crews have put a touch of fear into him. Yes, he seems... Apprehensive. But I am a scribe. Chronicling our history is part of my position. And deep down, he must be as excited about the adventure as any of us. Oh, I'm positively thrilled. Now, little scribe, if you'd be kind enough to uh, excuse us, the Guardian and I have business to discuss. Of course. 
Welcome to the last city. May the light provide. <laughs> May the light provide. Mizrak, you old charlatan. You built quite the house of cards here. <laughs> Guardian, it's been a while. Seems like only yesterday I was in the Tangled Shore, uh, trading in Seraphite and Phase Class. Uh, now, I'm nestled in the bosom of the Traveler. Oh! Funny where owing a debt to Drifter can get you, huh? And let's keep the details of my ignominious rescue between us. Hmm. Now then, it sounds as though you're off to cross swords with Aramis and the old crews. Mishrax seem none too pleased about that. I wonder why. I'll tell you what, my friend. I'll let you keep using my ship while you go digging for secrets. I think you've got the steel for it. Now go show those pirates what happens when they cross Spider. While you're gone, I'll gather some accoutrements no budding captain should be without. No need to thank me, Guardian. I only ask that you keep my wanton generosity to yourself. I have a reputation to maintain. Mm. <laughs> Has awoken, 
and has summoned the old crews to aid her. Regrettably, it falls on you to stop them. For that, you will require a star chart and a captain's atlas. Spider had these antiques in his collection. Use them if you must, but remember that you are a guardian, chosen by the light. These pirates, brutal remnants of our past, are not. Aramis chose to ally with them for a reason. They know the stars in a way even how salvation does not. I fear that Aramis may seek... <sighs> Pay me no mind. Raise arms against these pirates and discover the truth for yourself. We got good intel that there's treasure buried on this ice ball. There's a drill stage nearby. Clear the area and we'll begin excavation. Our cargo hold's looking pretty bare, hero. Let's get that treasure haul rolling. Pirates are jamming our drill. Take out their equipment. I sense an opportunity to cure that cabal. studying the relic you reclaimed from the pirates. I am eager to learn the nature of the strange energies that seep from within. I was thrilled to aid in your engagement with Aramis's fleet. I hope my support was beneficial, although I admit I am unused to the rigors of combat. While I did study with the Awoken Techians, gunplay was never a part of the syllabus. I am proud of the progress we made together. Thank you for including me as part of your crew. I must continue my studies. May the light provide. I'm eager to continue our friendship.
is Rax Kell of House Light. This is Aramis Kell of House Salvation. We need not be enemies, but you intend to make one of me. Very well. I have been restored by a power too great to oppose. More powerful than the traitor machine that abandoned us, and the machine spawn who did not hesitate to kill me. But we both know humiliation, don't we? You live in the shadow of those who have destroyed the dream of a unified elixir. They have our people's blood on their hands, and you scrape at their feet. It is shameful. You are shameful. Where is the Misrax of legend, feared by so many? Is he trying to outrun his past? We know this is impossible. I am told you have a daughter. Does she know who you are? What are you teaching her? And what lies will she repeat? What won't you tell her when you look into her eyes? You think I am without remorse? But I do not wish to harm my fellow Elixni. But if you want a fight, then I will give you one. Rally your crew. Take what you believe is yours by right of plunder. I don't expect any better from you. enlisted their help. She seeks the relics, and pirate legends hint at where they may be hidden. And if her task is at the command of the witness, Aramis cannot be allowed to claim the powers within. If she does, all will fall to corruption. You must find them. You must. Good job, hero. Watching you snatch up that loot reminded me of Gambit. I never get tired of watching people bank those moats. You know, Drifter, with the armies you assembled for Gambit, you could be very political. I leave all that to the Vanguard. I ain't the man to tell anyone what to do. Of course. But the time may come for you to step up. Hey, hero. Looking to grab another relic? And may I interject? 
Be my guest. The commander of this band of pirates is named Eryx, and he's widely known as an expert marksman. I would not stand still long enough to test this reputation. Good job, Guardian. You too, little sister. Read about this in one of your books? No, I didn't. Isn't that exciting? I know. What are you doing? Aiding Drifter and the Guardian. We have collected another relic before it was able to come into Aramiskel's possession. Your help is needed in studying the relics, not in our search for them. If I can render assistance, then I should do so. Let us speak privately. Very well. Huh. Glad I stayed out of that. Anyway, good job. Let's get this treasure tucked away. Miss Rax, my old friend. There's a matter I wish to discuss with you. My people's concerns are my own. I will listen. I hoped you'd say that. Rumor has it your new crew has been bringing back delightful baubles pulled from the old shores. Are you asking for a share? Do you think me so petty? We're on the same side here. We have our eyes on the same horizon. Those relics resurfaced for a reason. The power belongs to us. We could have everything this time. We need only take it. Your words are careless. What? A guardian? Huh. A trusted accomplice. No. I did not imagine you would speak like that where I might hear you. Come now, Mishraj. I know you. Think of your house. Think of your daughter. We could have everything Eremus wants. Wouldn't that be some lovely payback, huh? You will leave that behavior in the past. You will not speak of it here beneath the great machine, or I will silence you. Uh, there's no call for that. Do you hear me, Ruckus? I hear you. Never summon me like this again. Get out. We're closed. Ah, hey there, hero. <laughs> Sorry, getting a little swept up in all this adventuring. I'm on debrief duty while your Elixni buddies are busy with the relics you got from Aramis's crew. Ido's researching how to tap into their power. The kid's thorough, I'll give her that. She thinks something's hidden inside him. I swear she was about to crack one open before Mithrax stopped her. Now me? I took one look and knew those things were bad news. Gave me a little shiver. Reminds me of something. From a long time ago. Huh. Maybe I should do a little research of my own. Here for a favor. Baron Spider, I greet you in the light. I have heard that 
understand you have a great interest in human cultures, and as such, have acquired many curiosities. Yeah. I had quite the collection before my unfortunate relocation. But this isn't why you helped me get to the point. I have a question. Uh, of course you do. You and my father came from the House of Wolves, once known as the House of Gentle Weavers. I have very little record of that time. A first-hand account would be invaluable. Kel wouldn't like my speaking to you. Misrax Kel would understand. This is important to the history of House Light, of which you are a part. You don't know what your father is capable of, little scribe. What does that mean? <sighs> this conversation never happened. That went rather poorly. fragment of intel. This was found in the pirate hideout, along with the relic. You forget your place, Eryx. I am no longer the ship stealer. I am a Kel, and your obedience is my right. Deliver the relic as agreed, and I will overlook your attempts to extort me. Do it, or face the wrath of a power you cannot imagine. I believe Aramis Kel references the Witness. Perhaps she really has abandoned her calls for Elixni unity. Guardian, we have new readings. Aramis's fleet moves across the system, pursuing relics of power. Summon your crew. And... A request, please. As a favor to me. Do not involve Ido in your violence against the old crews. She is brave and curious, but does not yet understand the brutality of the world. There are... pain truths in our history. I should have told her earlier, before all this. But I must learn before I can teach, and for that I need time. Disrupt Aramis's crews, and stop her from collecting the relics. Some mistakes must remain in the past. as his enemies. That makes you a certified superstar. You become quite adept at bringing down these pirate lords. Do you think the rest are terrified? <laughs> Here, you'll face to all and father with four cleavers between them. Strong arm and a sharp edge. <laughs> they always think that's the only thing they need. Mizrax hasn't told you any more about these relics, has he? I suppose it's neat to know. And Mizrax knows. Spider, why are you using a secure channel? Did my father tell you to do so? Huh? Clever scribe. No more flattery? Well, Misrax asked me to keep you at arm's length. Perhaps he doesn't want you mixing in with our unsavory business. Were those his exact words? 
Only a guess. Who can say? And after all, who am I to question the cow? Hm. Spider? I will find out what's going on here. Spider, there are questions my father refuses to answer. Have you seen him act this way before? You two were friends once. Even if Misrax had friends back then, I wasn't among them. I couldn't possibly speak to his behavior. You're being evasive. Oh, evasive? I prefer to think of it as coy. Well then, your father was unpredictable. We could have had everything we wanted if he listened to me, but he always knew better. <laughs> Look at him now. Cal of a house holed up inside the city. Picking over ruins, pretending he's content in the shadow of the great machine. We were offered scraps and we took them. Oh? Is that ingratitude I hear? I do not call the truth ingratitude, but enough of who my father is. Who was he? I expected this from Spider, but not from you. I am simply performing my duties as scribe of House Light. I will gather knowledge regardless of who would keep it from me. Rockis. I told you not to speak of this. Do I have to dock your tongue? Father! I apologize for the Kell's behavior. Apology accepted. I see now. You're afraid little Ido will take off those rose-colored glasses. <laughs> Such a delightful human phrase. <laughs> and what will she see when she looks at you then? Do not speak to my daughter again. Oh, don't worry about me. Though, I'm not the only one who remembers. Sooner or later, she'll learn the truth. But I'm sure it will all work out. After all, what is it you say? The light provides. Hey there, Captain. Figured I'd better take over while Mithrax is preoccupied. I heard he's dealing with some family issues. From what I could gather, he tried to shut Ido out from all this pirate business. Might have lost his temper. Definitely lost face. Ah, poor Ido. What do they say? Never meet your heroes? Kinda tough when your hero's your dad. No surprise to me Mithrax has got some secrets. Everybody's got something that keeps him up at night. I'm sure they'll work it out. Folks have a way of putting aside the differences when the world's at stake. <laughs> Just look at me and Zavala. Or me and Ikora. Or me and... anybody, really. What can a simple operator like me do for the hero of the Vanguard? I kept this part quiet. I think half of those pirate lords didn't know what they had to begin with. They knew these things were powerful, but not why. Crack one open and you'd find a finger bone or a knot of old hair. Strong stuff. Smells awful. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I've been holding on to them, but I figured you might want them. Why? I thought to myself, you know who might like something strange and unsettling? 
Eris Morn. A gift, then? Well, yeah, Moon Dust. You can call it a gift. The sentiment is appreciated. But no. You know what you possess. These relics are not simple curiosities to be hoarded. They might serve a greater purpose. And what's that? Am I your conscience? Discover this for yourself. They are reliquaries, objects of great power. The darkness moves just beneath its skin. Do you feel it? It ruptures, flows, envelops. Ooh, I like listening to you talk. And I enjoy your silence. exactly is inside these reliquaries, but I dare not open them. The resulting surge of darkness energies would have unforeseeable effects on my physiology. However, I did manage to secure a centuries-old Vanguard mission report from the Cryptarchy. The reporting Guardian said that Elixni crews were infighting over what he called, quote, chunks of rotting meat. The report is of dubious quality, but it did make me wonder if the relic could be biological in nature. Guardian, as you prepare for your next voyage, know that I will continue to assist in the conflict against Aramis. I had words with Mizraxgel concerning his recent behavior. He explained he wished to shelter me from the violence displayed by Aramiskel's crews. I said one does not protect by forbidding exposure. There is no safety in ignorance. I told him plainly that I will not be sheltered. As the Guardian Credo states, devotion inspires bravery, bravery inspires sacrifice. The unspoken line that follows is why I will remain on the radio. Now, we must continue to pursue the relics Aramis seeks. Board your ship and let us begin. So this is Nessus. What a strange place to hide a treasure. Makes sense, though. Why pay for a bunch of defenses when the Vex will do it for free? Pirates are more cunning than I anticipated. I'll take that as a compliment, Crab Cakes. Well done, Guardian. It's clear you've been to Nessus many times. I'd like to see the lakes of Radiolaria someday. What the hell for? You can't drink Vex milk. Can't set sail on it, and swimming in it kills you. Radiolaria has much to teach us. It's home to the greatest metaconsciousness in the known universe. Your dad kicked down their front door with nothing but a splicer gauntlet. How smart could they be? Hey, hero. Spider said he needed my help again. I said no such thing. The Guardian has proven quite efficient at removing these thorns from our sides. Well, this thorn's got teeth. Lots of them. Big and pointy. An elixir obsessed with those disgusting cabal war beasts goes by the name Alax. Hey, war beasts ain't so bad if you remember to feed them. Oh, I've seen what they eat. Too much trouble for the cost. Something's wrong. Whoever came through here cleaned this place out. <sighs> Another gang. Scabs old enough to assault a hideout for its treasures. Nah, this outfit is organized, efficient, and almost as deadly as the Guardian. I wonder if our pirate lord is still with us. <laughs> So I like survive for a little while longer. Whoever tried. 
tried to take that pirate lord down first. They didn't get the relic. But these interlopers managed to take out half this crew. <sighs> Did they want the relic? Or just a little bloodshed? <sighs> Whoever they are, they made powerful enemies. Yeah, us too. Spoken with Drifter. He says another force assaulted Aramis's pirates. If you and Aramis are not the only ones searching for the relics, I fear this is beyond my control. I believed we could collect the relics and contain that power, keep them safe. A guardian, there are. Details I have kept from you. From everyone. I must ask for the gift of your patience. I will find an answer. I will. Trust me for a moment longer. I beg you. Shall we make a deal? I do enjoy your visits. Transmissions. This time to the Pirate Lord Alax. It is finally time for the Elixir to take their rightful place in the Soul System. We've struggled for too long under the boot heels of others. Hive and Cabal rain artillery down upon us. The Vex steal every last scrap for themselves. And the Light Bearers hunt us for sport. that may endanger us all. She sent a message to Aramis. She invoked a ritual from the old crews, words with empty hands. It is a type of parley where no violence is permitted. 
Ido believes Erebus will follow the rules of her people. I am not so trusting. Should Erebus accept, I would ask that you accompany us. In the meantime, continue the fight. This may be a ploy, and we must not be fooled. I hope that she ignores Ido's request, but if she does not, know this. Erebus does nothing that is not to her benefit. A word can do more damage than a blade, and Erebus is skilled at wielding both. tradition. Aramis Skell agreed to parlay. You cannot lose faith in the old ways now. This is a mistake, I know. Aramis listens to one voice only, and it is not ours. I may draw power from the voice in the darkness, but I am an Elixni Kel, and I fight for the liberation of our people. A true Kel serves their house. You serve only the witness. And who do you serve? I agreed to meet with Elixni, not a light bearer. The Guardian is here for your protection. Aramis Kel, a scribe of House of Light, I feel compelled to tell you. There is another force searching for these relics. I see. And who are these new meddlers, exactly? One of many you have wronged, perhaps. We did not identify the force, but they dispatched your... associates with ease. We have in them a common enemy. 
We have always had a common enemy. Abandon your pathetic attempts to appease your oppressors. Join me. Together we'll use these relics to achieve true freedom for the Elixni. No. The relics pose too great a threat. They cannot fall to warmongers like you. None know of their destructive power better than you, Mizrax. What do you mean? It was... centuries ago. I am no longer that person. No. You are the same as ever. I want to know the truth. Will I have to hear it from her? Centuries ago, when the Elixni first came to this system, when your father was just a hatchling, our people had nothing. So, when they discovered Nezarek, disciple of the Witness, entombed in the Lunar Pyramid, they harvested its dark power for themselves and for the future of our people. Mizrax inherited one of these relics, and its power ensnared him. He sought more. No matter the cost. But the more his crew had, the less they shared. That became the way of things. Elixni turned against Elixni, and friend turned against friend. Over time, the relics of Nezarek were separated and scattered across the galaxy. Their influence faded, but the stains of their power endure. Mizrax fled from the butchery he was born into. He claims he has changed and now lives a life of piety. But no matter how he tries to bury his past with selfish displays of generosity, and scraps of stolen wisdom, Mizrax will always be a liar, a thief, and a killer. Open your eyes, young scribe. Every light casts a shadow. I don't... please... Let me explain. Mizrak Skell of House Light. My father, a murderer, and a liar. Learning the truth is difficult, but the sharpest pain comes from the fact that he didn't tell me earlier. I was aware he had a past, but in a way, Aramis Skell showed me who my father is today he sees when he looks at me. He must think I am unable to understand, or he doesn't care whether or not I do. I am either underestimated or dismissed. And I could take only one lesson from this. My own father does not want me to know him. Our priorities have not changed. We must stop Aramis from claiming the relics of Nezarek. I will not place my own feelings above our mission. 
I will not become the hypocrite that my father is. If you're eager to deal death, I'm happy to help. you parlayed with Aramis, and she hit you with some heavy truths. Mithrax used to be a bad guy. Can you believe it? <laughs> Wait till I tell Crow. <laughs> I know Ido's pissed because her dad didn't tell her about it. Makes sense, but it don't shake me. Mithrax, he's just a fella who done something he ain't proud of. And that I understand. Which reminds me. Long time back, I found myself at the fourth tomb of Nezarek. Recognized these relics the first time I saw one. That's why I needed you involved. Ain't nobody I trust with that kind of power more than you. Well, after Eris. She gave me some ideas that might help Mithrax use these things for good. Whatever he does will show us just what kind of person he is. If we can stop Aramis from finding the last few relics and killing us all. So, uh, get on that. Well, he 
speak with you, Jermaine. Whoa! What kind of books you been reading? It's been Drifter for a long while now. Drifter, then. You have kept secrets from us since the beginning. It is unkind to withhold knowledge. Unkindness was never my aim. Apologies, sister. Accepted. Do you have any insight as to why the Lucent Hive are interested in the relics? Power is freedom, and everybody's chasing it, from the biggest freaky moth monster to the lowest space pirate. Hmm. <clears throat> but while the Lucent Hive are loyal to Savathun, the pirates enjoy a startling degree of freedom already. They are not constrained by office or honor. They are ruled only by their own desires. Yeah, I might look that way from the outside, but they've got to fight for everything they get. That's just survival. A meal and a bed that don't come at the end of a blade? That's freedom. You are drawing a comparison. Me? <laughs> look, I get it. Walking away from folks can feel like freedom. If no one's relying on you, there's no one to disappoint. No one to be disappointed by. Now you are speaking of Mizraxkel. I do not judge him for who he was, but he... He treated me like... Like a hatchling. Can't really blame him for not wanting to discuss it. Shame's a hard thing to shake. Harder if you have to share it. You are saying I should forgive him. That's your call, sister. I'm just saying, I get it. Aramis Skell seeks freedom for our people. But her freedom is vengeful. She wishes to be free from her shame. She will sacrifice Elixni lives in its pursuit. And it will never end. Thank you, Drifter. <laughs> you know... I don't hear that enough. <laughs> I greet you, Guardian. I wished to speak to you earlier, but I did not have the words. I will not apologize, as I believe the secrets of my old life were mine to keep. But I do regret. I am ashamed of my cruelty. Of the things I did. The people I hurt. I thought I left it behind. But the old Mithrax is still within me. And now he has hurt my daughter. I have hurt my daughter. I must set it right. I was a killer. But I am a kill. I will prove to you which title I deserve. Aramis 
Miskel. I greet you in the light. I wish that you could greet me in the same. You told my father that we need not be enemies. This is still true. But we will always be your enemy if you serve the witness. I do not know what it has promised you. An elixir reborn, a Reese restored. Did it promise us a future? But I ask, do you strive for our future? Or do you flee the whirlwind? The Lucent Hive and the Witness both pose a great threat to the Elixni. But there is no greater threat to us than when we fight against each other. This division will destroy us completely. You remember the whirlwind. I do not. But I believe that the greatest treasure we lost was unity. I called for our parlay because you believe this too. You will say that House Salvation will bring unity through the destruction of our enemies. But that path does not end, Aramiskel. You will never find what you are seeking. You will never undo the legacy of the whirlwind. Your latest mission unearthed another intercepted transmission. It seems pertinent to our research. Do not open the relic under any circumstance. I don't care if the whole Lucent brood is outside. The darkness inside would dissolve you before you could ever wield it against the Hive. Only beings of extraordinary fortitude can withstand its energies. And we both know you're less than that. Retreat and fortify your defenses. Protect the relic at all costs. Reinforcements are on the way. Glad I caught you, Guardian. I didn't want you setting off after Aramis without a little warning first. What's that look? You don't survive as long as me without being able to smell trouble. And honestly, kid, you stink of it. You've been cutting a swath through those pirates out there, but don't get complacent. Watch your opponent, but watch your back, too. You're going after chunks of a dead disciple of the witness, and you've almost got them all. That's some serious juju. The stakes are high. That's when folks tend to get... unpredictable. An Alex is skilled in scrapworking. Her name is Ithix. I have engaged with her before. I doubt her tactics have changed. She hides behind traps and shanks and believes herself clever. She will not face you if she has a choice. Leave her none. The old crews fear you. Fear us. They know they cannot stand in our way. Huh. Looks like Captain Kells found his inner pirate again. Perhaps it is what I am. And Aramis speaks the truth. Hey, now, I didn't say that. What's that Ido said to me? Aramis will fight forever to get rid of her shame. Maybe you did that for a while, too. But then you made a safe place for the Elixni. That's what Aramis wants, and she'll never get there. What we do now matters more than who we were. The Drifter speaks kind truths. Rezrax thanks you. Good of you to visit, Captain. Seems like only yesterday I... Loaned you my ship, and now you're known across the system. Flashy. Not my style. 
It's safer in the shadows. I learned that long ago from a handsome young fellow named Rakis. He served the old crews for a time. Got double-crossed. Spent the rest of his life running. Eventually, someone claimed the bounty on poor Rakis. He called himself Spider. <laughs> Savvy? Cast in a past, bought a future. Walked away, reborn, and never looked back. Like you guardians do. Like my dear boy Crow. Like Mishrax. Pretending his old life never happened. Oh, he's changed a bit over the years. But the old fury is still inside him, somewhere. It's best he not forget that. Idol of the House of Light, Scribe Log Zeta 78D. At this point in the Guardian's adventures, we have had contact with a great many pirates. Each crew has a unique composition, pledges loyalty to the most powerful among their numbers. They fight for whomever promises them the most power, or the most glimmer. They adopt whatever code of honor befits them, and concern themselves with little beyond the present. A friend told me that these pirates are not as free as they seem, that their lives are fueled by desperation more than their own desires. But there is still the call of the open stars, these pirates sought to possess the relics of Nezarek. What else might they hold? Scribe Ido. Aramis Kel? I greet you in the light. You are young and honor the old ways. So I will speak gently. You say there are paths that never end. But these are also paths you cannot turn away from. Mizrax thinks he can. He is wrong. He and I will always be what we are. But we are not something you would wish to become. I remember the whirlwind. And we are running from it. We are running from that pain. And will be forever. You do not want this life. Aramis. Do not stand in my way. If we meet again, I will be the last thing you see. You and that hypocrite you call a father. I've searched for information on Nezarek and the Cryptarchy's records, but most of the primary sources from that era were destroyed. What we know from second-hand accounts is that Nezarek led the Witnesses' first assault on Earth, or as humans call it, the Collapse. After the Great Machine repelled the attack, Nezarek's pyramid crash-landed on your moon. Beyond that, the sources are vague. They hint at a process for harnessing the Relic's power, but give no instructions. If we could replicate this ancient methodology, there's no telling what we might accomplish. Guardian, you were close to securing the last relic of Nezarek, and we near the end of our mission. I have noticed no further communications between Aramis and her crews. I hope this means the worst is behind us. I did find, however, a transmission from Aramis to Ido. It was embedded in an unsecured scribe log. You may have heard it. I do not know what Aramis gains in speaking with Ida. We know the ship stealer only acts to her own benefit. But Ida shuns me. She studies the coordinates of the pirate layers without my assistance. I have never seen her behave this way. 
I cannot place blame solely on Aramis's influence. My actions pushed Ido away, though I meant only to protect her. She will see that in time. She must. Unless she has already made her choice. We must end this now, before something happens that cannot be undone. Claim the final reliquary and finish this conflict. May the light provide. came for. Let's get off this cubic hellhole. So soon. Oh, I was hoping to tour the Exodus Black. A vintage AI like Failsafe must be a treasure trove of Golden Age information. I guess, but talking to Failsafe is like teaching a thrall to play harmonica. More trouble than it's worth. Guardian, this Slayer is swarming with the Lucid Hive. We must not abandon caution now that our mission comes to a close. Your presence is not necessary. I don't. What are you doing here? Are you unharmed? I will retrieve the last relic myself. Without violence. I... <gasps> the Hive. I know. Guardian, find her, please. She is my... Close to the relic. When we have it, Aramis Kell will see the futility of her actions. You risk yourself for her. She will never abandon her ways. No. You both must face the past. You cannot outrun it. You cannot hide it from me. Idol, please forgive me. So, <laughs> let me get this straight. Mithrax has Aramis at the end of his sword, and then... nothing? I mean, nothing? Huh. I thought that guy still had some mean in him. Guess I was wrong. I was right about you, though. Gotta hand it to you, kid. You did a hell of a job out there. Drove Aramis off? Stopped whatever plan the witness had, and brought home all the pieces of Nezarek. Not bad at all. Mithrax and Ido have the relics now. Don't know what those things can actually do, but if anyone can figure it out, it'd be them. 
Hope it's something good. Yep, nothing for you to do now but lay back in that big old pile of pirate treasure you got. You deserve it. And don't worry about giving me my cut, Captain. It just felt nice to be a good guy again. <laughs> Trust. some 
improvements to the ether tank. I know I would have preferred a library, but sometimes entertainment should come before edification. A social space is important. This is now a comfortable place for citizens to relax and speak openly to their neighbors. And Spider does make an excellent ether face. Ah, this is where Spider is keeping his treasures. He was speechless when I asked him to ship in some of his trinkets from the Tangled Shore. I told him his collection is part of our culture. Ido showed me that one should not deny the past, but rather grow from it. And there is nothing wrong with cherishing the comforts of one's home. Even Spider deserves to be comfortable. Look there. The first Elix need to undergo Vanguard security training. Yes, there was some unrest when Ikora first welcomed us here. But this is about more than security. The Elixni are being accepted by the tower. The hatchlings and children of the city now see human and Elixni faces protecting them. May they serve with pride. Look, Guardian. Do you see the additions to the buildings in the distance? New homes for both our people here. Beneath the crate machine. They say that when a fire team of guardians assembles, they can kill a god. But when all the guardians band together, oh, they can achieve so much more. Hey, Garden. Spider told me I would enjoy his latest improvement. And he was correct. This is more than food for those in the last city. We have plenty already. This little garden will bring our community closer than ever before. From this humble soil, we will grow hope. This simple place, a town square, you may call it, but to us, it is so much more. A place for community meetings, an open-air school. There will be lectures, forums, debates. And I will invite all the citizens of the last city to attend. Spider, build it here, standing in defiance of the conflicts of our past. May this signal a new era of understanding for all live beneath the great machine. Thank you, Guardian. For you have performed the greatest of kindnesses. And in the last city, as Mithrax would say, the light provides. The Guardians gave their treasures to those in need. Our people were being cared for. And Misrax could take time to study the secrets of the reliquaries. He said they were connected by threads he alone could perceive, and that they whispered to him. He performed a conversion. He claimed from them a mass of primal darkness. He distilled it, transformed it, Terrifying energy into a more agreeable state. And Osiris, my phoenix, who broke time itself to bring me to his side, awoke. As he recovered, Osiris would tell us how the energy opened his mind. Let him remember Sabathun's thoughts and fears as if they were his own. He would tell us of our power she knew of, a secret hidden away on Neptune. Yes, he would explain all of this. But when he first opened his eyes, his words were on. 
Saint, my love. That was all. And that was enough.